Hey guys, it's Derry here from the Rainbow Witch's Colorful Cottage. Sorry, I look a little tired. I'm exhausted. Um, anyway, I am here because I did a live yesterday in my Facebook group, the Christian Witch's Roundtable, about because one of my dear, dear friends was calling herself a horrible witch because she doesn't have time to do ritual anymore. Um, and I get that. I am blessed to be a stay-at-home mom. I am blessed to have a space to do ritual. But there are a lot of us witches out there that don't have time. Because we're essential workers in this time of COVID. And we're busy. We, have, we are parents and we have children and we have, you know, we work all day and then we come home and we have children or grandchildren that we have to take care of and spouses that we have to deal with and, and maybe grown children living at home. We don't, I don't know, but I'll be honest. Yes, I'm blessed to have this space and yes, I'm blessed to be a stay-at-home mom, but does that mean that I never miss a ritual? Hell no. I haven't done a full-blown knockdown drag out ritual in the last time I did a full-blown ritual was Samhain. Um, and I've beat myself up over that. And I know a lot of witches that, that feel guilty about calling themselves witches because they don't do ritual or because they, it's not, and that's not a choice, that's, that's life. You know, and um, I get that. I really do understand that. But number one, don't ever call yourself a horrible witch or not a witch because you don't have time to do ritual. That right there is bullshit. And that's you putting your intention out in the universe. That's you putting a form of your intention. That's you putting negativity out in the universe. And you don't want to do that either because you're manifesting what you want in return. You're putting negativity out, so you're saying, hey, I'm negative, so I want negativity in return. And nobody wants that. Nobody wants that. Um, some really simple, quick, 30 second to five minute rituals that you can do to celebrate an espit, which is the moon phases. You know, we're right now, we're in the midst of the new moon. Um, some things that you can do for the Sabbaths, and you can do this for, for, you know, I celebrate them, I celebrate Sabbaths and, and Espets for three to seven days, depending on what I'm called to do. Or hell, sometimes not at all. You know, um, and I don't beat myself up over that because that's just life. Because honestly, yes, I'm a blessed to be a stay-at-home mom, but in this time of COVID, it's hard. Because I have an extremely hyperactive 10-year-old who needs constant stimulation and constant attention, and I'm exhausted. And my husband doesn't get home till 9, 9 o'clock at night, and I have to cook him dinner, and put TJ to bed, and bath times, and by the time I get to even think about my time or my, you know, it's midnight and I'm exhausted. I am utterly wrung out. So there's a lot of times that I don't do ritual, but when I'm feeling called to do ritual and I don't want to, I'm just, I'm being called to do something, but nothing major. You know, I mean, here's something that you can do in five minutes. You grab a seven-day candle or a chime candle or a votive candle or, hell, even a birthday candle. And you sit there and you hold it in your hands. And you think about your intentions and what you want for this new moon. And new moons justify beginnings. They're new beginnings. So what do you want to shed? 
which is let go of? Or what do you want to manifest, which is bring towards you? What do you want in this time of, you know, newness? And you hold that and you put your intention into it. And that could just be just breathing over it. Just, I want love and I want magic and I want, you know, abundance. And I want to shed negativity and I want to shed chaos and I want to shed drama. I don't want any of that in my life. And you just put your intention into that candle. And all you have to do, like I told my friend yesterday, I said, honey, she's like, I just literally at five o'clock walked in the door and she's got two extremely little grandchildren. I think there's six and two. So they're always, you know, and she's got to get them fed. She's got to cook their dinner. She's got to feed them. She's got to get them bathed and she's got to put them to bed. And that could take anywhere from two hours to four to five hours. So I understand why, and she's already exhausted. And so I can understand why she doesn't feel like she has time for ritual. But you grab a candle. Any candle will do. Any size, any color, whatever. That's why I primarily work with white candles, because it's it's just, it, it's every color. Um, but you grab a candle, and you put your intention in that candle. And you light that candle. You light that candle and then you go about your business. You can leave it in the kitchen while you're cooking dinner, but your intention's already in that candle. So you can light that candle and start cooking dinner and, you know, get those kids fed and do what you need to do and just let that candle burn. Boom! You just did a ritual whether you think you did or not. Or same situation. You take that candle, you put your stuff into it, you put you put your manifestation intentions into it. You put what you want to manifest, but you didn't put what you wanted to get rid of. You take what you want to get rid of and you write it down on a piece of paper. And then you step outside for 30 seconds and you take that candle that you've lit and you take that piece of paper and you fold that piece of paper and you set it on fire and you put it in a fireproof dish and you let it go. And as it burns, the, the things that you want to shed are, are released to the universe. Again, you did a ritual and you didn't really even know it. There are five minutes, there are 30 seconds, you know, it's 30 seconds to five minutes to 10 minutes. It doesn't have to be this full-blown elaborate Oh, it's, it's an espada, and oh, it's a new moon, or oh, it's a full moon, and I have to do full, uh-uh, no. Or, I'm a horrible witch because I don't have this color candle, and it's not this time, and it's not this day, and it, I don't have those, fuck that shit, fuck it, I don't, no. You do what you do, boo-boo, if that makes any sense, you do you, boo-boo. If you don't have time for a full-blown ritual or you just don't physically, mentally, and emotionally have it in you to do a full-blown ritual, don't do a full-blown ritual. As I said, light that candle and let it go. You know, I got gifted this wonderful little, because I am the Rainbow Witch of the Rainbow Witch's Colorful Cottage, and my dear friend's daughter made this for me. And it's a little house. It's a little cottage, and it's a rainbow. And I will put... I will put, this is now, you know, things that I want for my YouTube channel. This is things that I want to manifest just for, specifically for this channel. And I will put herbs, crystals, petitions in here. And it's right here at my window. And this window is wonderful because it gets all of the moonlight that I need, it gets all the sun that I need, it gets all the color that I need. So, you know, there you go. And I put it up here and it sits on my desk and, you know, there's my little version of a ritual. As you can see, I have art all over, you know, this room that's, that's always and there's my herbs. And so, I mean, again, I don't feel like I have to do a big drawn out ritual a lot of the time because I have everything that I need at hand, and it's always being 
cleansed by the by the sun and by the moon and by my rainbows and um, but like my art supplies that are right here I don't know if you can see those well, you can't see them but I have a bucket of art supplies right here that I use my color pages and those bucket of art supplies have selenite and citrine in the bottom of them so they're always cleansed they're always charged they're always ready to go and they're set with my intention they're set with my intentions of this is what I want my art and my creativity and my craft to manifest I want this business to take off that I have I want you know my color pages to bring joy to people and I want them I, w I create them for people that don't have time to sit down and color and they want that color in their life. They want that magic in their life. So that's why I create my color pages and my candles and my crystal grids. And if I can bring joy to somebody else, I will. You know, but those are just little things that you can do. And if, you know, if at the end of the day, you know, you're so tired, but you know, you feel like you want to do something, you know, you want some sacred me time, you can make your, your bedtime, bath time, you know, shower time, whatever, you can make that a ritual. Grab a scented candle that you love, grab some music, grab some, you know, color that bathroom, cover that bathroom in candles and, and, um, or, you know, put herbs and, and put a sachet of herbs in, and I don't recommend putting loose herbs in your water because that can clog your drains. I've done it. But grab a muslin bag or a, you know, and fill it with herbs and crystals and put it in your bath water. Use some Epsom salts. But make sure your, er, your crystal is water safe. That's where you have to do your research. I don't yet like to use a lot of crystals in my actual water because I don't, I, I, I just don't, I like my crystals to be safe. So I will sometimes put them just on the lining on the edge of my tub, you know, but they're still there. They're, my intention is still imbued into those crystals about, you know, hey, I have this gorgeous Labradite right here. You can see that flash and I will hold that and I will put my intentions in my and I will imbue it with my energy and I have my my Labradite ring and but I will imbue it with my energies and my manifest and my intentions and I will read because it is not water so I will rest it on the edge of my tub that way it's not getting wet but it's still got my energy and it's still giving me its energy you know just by holding it I can feel its energy and I feel it's you know so but those are simple little you know when you give yourself a facial but put your before you put that on your face put the container in your hand and imbue it with your intentions you can make anything you do a ritual you really can you can make cooking your food a ritual by imbuing your herbs that you cook with. You can wash your clothes and make that a ritual by putting herbs or Florida water or whatever in your in your bath in your in your wash water. Same thing with cleaning your house. I have herbal carpet cleaners and herbal. Um, I have whoop whoop. What was that? Well, shit. I have an herbal carpet stuff and it's baking soda and whoa <laughs> oh god does that smell good it's it's lavender and himalayan pink salt and baking soda and so but again it's imbued with my intentions and i sat it under here and i have um this is something that i am never without florida water i get this stuff by the case and I put it in my wash water downstairs in my laundry. I put it um, in my bath water. I put it in my cleansing water when I, when I mop my floors. 
I don't use traditional cleaners. I make my own. I don't, you know, I mean, I, I really don't. I don't use like Lysol and stuff like that. Um, I use Florida water and herbal washes and, and moon water and things like that. Um, but those are just some simple little ideas and I hope those helped. And don't ever think that you are less of a witch or a horrible witch or whatever because you just can't physically, mentally, emotionally or whatever do a ritual. The witchcraft gods are not going to come and shun you. And, you know, it's... We're, we're all sometimes a little less than, you know? And, but that's not something to beat us up about. That's just life. But you are not. No one on this planet, be them a witch, be them a Christian, be them a Hindu, be them a Satanist, be them whatever, is a horrible whatever because they can't do ritual. You're just not. And, and that's you putting your negativity out in the universe. And that's something that you need to release. Don't put it out in the universe because that's something you'll get back in return. And you don't want that. So... Alrighty, I'm done rambling. I hope that helped. I love you all. Everybody have a great night. Bye, guys.